Hi, on this video I want to tell you a little bit about muscle stimulation and I want to make it very generic uh, so that you can understand what we're trying to do with muscle stimulation and where we're putting electrodes and why we are putting them there. You might have seen in a previous video I actually described we have a muscle nerve and it's going to the muscle tissue but inside this nerve we, it's a bundle and we have little fibers and some of them are wider than others, some are smaller, some are this way, some are that way. You have different size, different diameters and I'm referring to the area across or across this way. Now what that is is when we actually move and like if I was taking my left arm now and I said well pick my hand up, I'm going to pick it up that way. Now what's really going on, because I'm doing it with no assistance by an electrotherapy device, when I try to make that little minor movement, really I'm only firing these small fibers. And I may not be firing all of them, just some of them. Now if you were to hold my hand down and say, now let's see you pick it up now, I'm going to be fighting like this, and I'm actually going to start firing some of these larger diameter fibers. And the reason is a natural movement from your brain saying move, you use the least amount of energy. Remember with cells and energy, we try to minimize use of energy, but then we have to maximize it. We have to recruit the larger fibers and that is the way we move. Now, when you use electric stimulation, we got a different thing. Remember, we're going from small to large. With electric stimulation, muscle stimulation, we again have big, we have little, we have medium, and we have less than medium. When we apply electricity, like I'll try to show you this now, and I want to just show you a couple of things on this. I'm going to show you the improper way to stimulate, if you're trying to get a larger muscle area, the improper way to put electrodes on. And I'm telling you this so that you can just keep this in mind when you're actually working with muscle stimulation and or you are actually trying to figure out where electrons are flowing. Now in this particular placement, and let's just say here's my muscle that I'm trying to stimulate and I'll draw it on here. Here's my muscle and we have little endpoints on muscles and this is where they insert. They're going to be down here. Now inside of here, we will have a great deal of these little such as such. All right. Now, when we're trying to stimulate inside with electricity, it's an opposite. Now here's the problem on an opposite. The first thing we will fire using electricity is not the small bundle, the small motor nerve within the bundle. It's the larger diameter. So we are firing exactly opposite the way we would if we were actually doing it volitionally with no electrotherapy. Now this electrode placement you see here, this is the same equivalent of having one electrode right here over the muscle and one electrode right here over the muscle. Okay, where's the current going? The current is going back and forth right across here. Is that the length of the muscle? No, it isn't. We really would prefer to put one electrode here, the length of the muscle, one electrode here. Now we have eliminated this crisscross and what have we done? Now the electron flow is all the way through and across. Now we're getting even more because we are exposing the entire length of the muscle rather than a cross section. So if I wanted to change this, I would pull this off and let's say I would put it here. I would take this one off. I would put it here more in the length of the muscle itself and then when I do stimulation, my hand starts moving up and that's because I'm recruiting more. Then I can let it rest and this is how it, we get it. Anyway, just a little point on muscle stimulation and paying attention 
to where the current is and to what you're trying to stimulate. Now this also gets important after exercise and you're trying to su supplement electrons and or move out free radicals. Remember what your current flow is. Hope this helps you a little bit on muscle stimulation and why and where you begin to start thinking about putting electrodes. And with most of our muscle stimulation patients, the process of movement involves quite a few muscles fired in a certain order. So we generally start off looking at what would be a functional movement, what muscles were involved, and then we start working those muscles until we can achieve the function you're after. And that's like sometimes we have a, what we call our priority assist. And that's why many of you will end up talking with me when you have our equipment. And it's to help you understand these concepts, but also to try to help you with specifics of, as to what to do. And when possible, we will try to provide you videos and other things that will give you some idea of how to deal, not with somebody else's issue, but with yours in particular, specifically. Thanks for watching the video. At MedFacts, our priority is to educate and inform on topics such as pain relief, sports performance, injury rehab, nutrition, antioxidants, electron supplementation, and electrotherapy. We carry a complete line of electrotherapy devices and accessories including interferential, TENS, ultrasound, muscle stimulators, electrodes, and more. We are excited about being on the cutting edge of electrotherapy research. 